Everybody knows those famous chords by Spandau Ballet. Today's lesson is True by Spandau Ballet, great new romantics band from the 80s. Lots of people are doing this the straightforward way with just your bog standard chords. I wanted to do a lesson here that took you through just voicings for those first chords which are used in the chorus, which are closer to the actual keyboard sounds. So the keyboards are doing those intro chords and what I've done is, is really tried to follow those voicings and get the combination of what the bass is doing and the keyboards are doing and put it onto a guitar. Let's hope it works. There's also a sax solo in this song and I've tabbed that out for guitar and I'm gonna show you at the end of this lesson how to do that sax solo on guitar and I've put it as a tab as a separate download for, on your charts. So, here we go. The bog standard chords for that intro would be G major, E minor nine, C major seven, B minor seven. Lovely chords, really, really nice chords. And that's what I've written across the top of your intro, but beneath that on the tab, on your chart, I've put these chords. They won't be exactly those chords, but I think it's pretty close to how the sound of the song. So what we're doing here is we're playing the G bass note, and we're playing 12, 12, and 10 on the top three strings. So we're doing this. And the, the, the less you play for this rhythm, the more it's going to sound like the real thing. Because I started doing and it's too much. You just want to go just those two top notes after the one bass note. Then we reach over to get the 12th fret E string, so it's an E note. And it's the same three notes on the top, but your G string note is dropped down to the 11th fret. Now this is one of the variations that um, is, is just a little bit different to most versions, but it takes that G flat note into account, and I think it works really well. Then you keep those same top three notes, but you move your bass note over to this C here on the D string 10th fret, and you play, and then that last bass note will drop down for the fourth chord, will drop down from that C down to the B, but you need to come up here and play it on the 14th fret. And my apologies if you're on an acoustic guitar and trying to do this. If you're trying to do that, then stick down here and, and stay with those last three strings. But if you want to get the closest you can to that, that keyboard sound, come up here to the A string 14th fret and play on the top three strings, play uh, 16, 15, and 14 on those three. So that's the top of a B minor and you play your B bass note there. And that, that really high note is kind of what rounds off those four chords and makes it sound like the actual keyboard does. the song if you're singing this song or you're playing with a band and you actually want to do something a little bit different a little bit more full do the G E minor 9 C major 7 B minor 7 okay and it works just as well it's just not quite those high chord voicings so on we go to the verse after we've done that intro oh and at the end of the uh, it does that through those four chords through three times and at the end of the intro you hit an A minor 7, walk up through the B and the C, so A minor 7, and play an F add 9. Also, you could call it an F sus 2, and you could play it up there, but it's easy to reach and it works really well right there. Then we move into the verse. So true, for how it seems. on the 6th fret, either way, G, E minor 7, C, and then E flat, then the second time through, head over heels and two, two, two. this is the sound, now, the first 
time we hit this E minor 9 in the verse, it's a push. Now, what I, what I mean by a push is that it's, it's landing not on the first beat of the bar, but on the 4 and beat of the previous bar. So wherever that happens in your chart, I've put a little asterisk underneath that chord. At the top of the chart, I've said that that asterisk means it's a push. So, and I think it also happens right at the end of that intro where it goes A minor seven, and it lands on the F add nine. The F add nine is on a push as well. So, this is a sound. Hit that E minor nine on a push, back to C major seven. This is the sound. Now, another push lands you on the G. It's a push going back to the C sharp major, the C major seven as well. But three pushes in a row. Third one is to a G instead of the E minor nine. Hit a G like that because you're going to walk that bass note down to an F sharp. So I've just written it as a G over F sharp, I think. Yep. Then we move into what I'm calling the bridge. C. Now, I think it works really well to do a C add nine here, which is that instead of your regulation C, but you can do a plain up C if you want. And we go. Again, C, now walk it down to a B bass note. Again, C down to B. Why do I find it hard to write the next line? Oh, I want the truth to be said. Again on the F add nine, right? And it holds that chord to the end of that bar, and then we go back into the chorus. Now the chorus is where you can kind of go back to your regular chords, or you can go. But you can also go. for two bars, reach your del segno sign, which takes you back to the start of the second verse. And the second verse, followed by the bridge, followed by the chorus, is exactly the same all the way through again. Then at the end of that second chorus, we go to the really interesting solo. And what I've done is I've tabbed out, uh, this is a saxophone solo, right? And everyone kind of knows it, and it's really quite pretty. I've tabbed it out for guitar. So at the end of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do that sax solo on the guitar. This solo moves to E flat and it goes from E flat for a bar to A flat for a bar, both major chords, seven times. So that's twice. You hit A flat seven times after the E flat. Then at the very end of that, takes you out to the end of the song. You're really just doing that, that um, oh no, there's one more section. At the end of that chorus, we do, there's this little break section. There's much, now, the way I figured out to play this, which kind of, is, I think sounds nice. Play your A minor seven like that. So you've got the open A string and then five, five, five across the D, G and B strings. And you go, then on the G string you go seven, five, four, seven on the D string, down to five, and then play a D major like this shape, and then come up to an E an E minor seven like that. And you can add that note or not, it does, it's still an E minor seven. So it sounds like this. three times and on the third time you land on that F at nine again. Now so 
on the third time, it kind of makes more sense to play your A minor seven down here and do this. So you're right there for that F add nine chord and it's an easy transition. And then we head into the outro, which is the chorus. Anyway, we are moving through these chords to get us out of the song. for watching let me know what you think of my chord voicings